Here, I'm going to show you how to use data validation to prevent a user from entering a value which is not already contained within a list. Now this has many applications, but what I've got here is a sample where you have a date box here, or a date cell, and you enter whatever date, and then to the right, an employee record is going to be filled in. So say it's a certain employee that was working that day for a particular job, and all of this will be filled in based on the date but you don't want the uh, user to be able to enter a date that doesn't exist in the system. So let me uh, show you what I've got here for my data table on the next tab. I've got the dates right here. So 1-1-2008 one, one, to 1-11-2008. And then I've got the employees that were supposedly working that day. And so you want the user to be able to search this list but not be able to enter a value outside of this range. Now the way to do it without a drop down box here is to use data validation. So simply click the cell where you want to use the data validation and then if you are in Excel 2007 go to the data tab, data tools and click data validation. Now if your Excel window is say full screen you will see this little data validation button already on the ribbon. Click that and to get the data validation window. Now if you have a previous version of Excel, all you have to do is use a shortcut which will work in all versions. Alt D L. So Alt plus D plus L will get you to this window. Now make sure you have the cell highlighted where you want to use the data validation. Then after the window pops up go to the settings tab and under where it says allow go to list. Now by default, in cell dropdown will be checked, and that creates sort of that creates a drop-down menu in the cell. But sometimes you don't want that, so uncheck that. And now in the source, we need to link it to the dates on the other page. So theoretically, we could just put an equal sign in here, click this little box, and then go to the table. However, it's not going to let us do that. So you have two choices. One is to type in the reference for the table itself here, if you already know it by memory. The other option, close the data validation window for now, go to a blank cell, and type in everything you would have typed in the data validation window here first. So equals, now let's go and select the table with all of the dates. Go to the next tab, highlight this table, then just hit enter. Now don't worry about what comes up here. Um, simply double click, select everything, control C to copy it, then hit escape. Now go back to the cell where you want someone to enter the date. Go to data validation, alt DL. Now go back to list, make sure in cell drop down is unchecked, and then click the little text box here and paste in what you just copied. And so now it has entered everything that you need. So go ahead and click OK. And now data validation should work for this cell. So let's try it out. Let's try 1-1-2007. Nope. It's not going to let us do it. What about 1-17-2008. Nope, can't do that either. But let's go ahead and try to enter some values from the list. 1-1, one, 1-4, one, one, 1-7. One, so now we can enter any date here which is already contained within the other list. Just go ahead and delete the thing you copied here. And also note that the data table doesn't have to be on another tab. It just makes it look a little bit cleaner, especially if you're using it as a database itself. Now that's how you can use data validation to make it so you can only enter certain values within a list. So you can't enter anything outside of that. Basically, it kind of makes idiot proof. So no one's going to enter the wrong date and you know not know what to do. Um, if you want to take it off, simply highlight the cell where data validation is. Go Alt-DL for the shortcut and underneath allow select any value. Once you do that and hit OK you can once again type anything in the cell that you want.
but we're not going to do that right now. And so that's how you can use this feature in data validation.